Hello, boys and girls. And I want to say hi from all of your Faith Place teachers and your Sunbeams teachers and your Toucans teachers. Um, we have missed you very much. Um, I'm super excited to get to just say hello through a little video. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys have been working on your memory verses that um, have been sent to your mom and dad's email every week. Uh, I just wanted to remind you that for every one of the verses that you get memorized and you send me a little video, I am writing down and you get 100 time tickets for every single verse. Um, any of you who work hard enough and memorize all the verses while we're gone, you're going to get an extra prize on top of all of your hundreds that you will have earned over the time that we don't get to be together. Um, we look forward to getting to see you again. Um, but until then, and just remember, it's like we've always said, um, it's not just being about God and learning about God on Sundays. Um, he is real and he is important every single day of the week. And you guys are experiencing that right now. But we definitely miss you. So for this week's memory verse, um, we, I picked something because I thought, you know, about this time you might be getting a little bit tired of being home and tired of seeing the same old things and, and doing the same old things. And so the verse that we're gonna do this week is um, in the book of Psalms, Psalm 136, one, and I'm gonna read it for you. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Now here's what's cool about this verse. This is kind of a four for one because God actually put this exact verse four times word for word in the Bible. So if you memorize Psalm 136.1, you will have also memorized 1 Chronicles 16.34, Psalm 107.1, Psalm 118.29, and Psalm 136.1. So that's a pretty good deal for memorizing a verse. There are actually a couple of other times in the Bible that God uses almost the exact same words, he maybe just changes one or two. Now what I want you to think about is that we know when God says something in his Bible, even if he says it only once, it's very, very important to him. So when God takes the time to say the same thing exactly four times, you know it's really important. And that verse started out, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. So we are going to work this week on being thankful. It's important to God. In fact, in the Bible, 80 times it says, give thanks. Again, if God says 80 times there's something for you to do, you know it's pretty important to him. So we're going to work on having a thankful heart and um, giving thanks this week. So you're going to find in your emails that I send to your mom and dads, this little sheet that's our thankful sheet. And we're going to have a challenge this week because here's the thing. We start, like I said, we're stuck at home. You're kind of doing the same things. You're doing your schoolwork and it can make us a little grumpy and it can make us maybe want to start to look around and complain. And here's the thing. You can't complain and have a thankful heart at the same time. If you're really truly thankful, it just kind of makes those complaints go away. So we're gonna practice this week giving thanks unto the Lord. So here's what I would love for you to do this week. You're gonna see there are three categories here and you can do this with your family or you can each do your own, whatever works for you. But what I'd like for you to do every single day, this is mine, I'm gonna do it too, is like we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I want you each day to write down something about God that you're thankful for. Write down something in your home or your house that you're thankful for. Because like I said, you might be getting sick of seeing your house. So let's start being thankful for what we have in our house. And then finally, something that happened to you that day that you're thankful for. And if you do this each day, do something different every single day, hopefully when you get to the end of the week, you are going to find it easier to be thankful and to have a thankful heart. And I hope that some of those complaining and maybe grouchiness 
God has replaced it with you realizing how amazing he is. Because that verse just told us, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. I hope you guys have a great week. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Don't forget to send me your videos. Even if you're behind and you haven't worked on week one or week two, that's fine. Say your verse, take a video of it, and send it to me, and I'll get you credit for those 100 time tickets. If you're a sunbeam or a toucan and you want to try, you will be able to get in the treasure chest when you get back for every single verse that you get right. So until then, love you guys. We're praying for you and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.